Hi, welcome to Ivor Lewis, and today I'm doing Lynx Super Lager, which up until a week ago I had no idea existed. Um, walked into an off license, just looking around to see what they had, saw this on the shelf, and thought, well, for one eighty nine, you've got to give that a go. So it uh, it's a seven point five five hundred ml tin. All I can tell you is it's that it's um, produced in the UK, specially brewed and canned for MHV. That's it. Couldn't tell you who does it or where it's done or, you know, just says Lynx Super Lager. Um, mm. I'm also drinking it out of my I've Had Worse glass that someone kindly bought me for a birthday present. And could this be the worst thing that I've drunk? Now, Super Lagers get a bad rap and not all of them are as bad as their reputation um you know, they're not uh, trampane and they're not revolting and they're not foul. They're actually pretty good. And if they were in, if they were marketed differently, you know, gold foil tops and flip tops, I think we'd be drinking a lot more of them. Um, I'm waffling now. Let's get this into a glass. Is this going to be any good? Is it going to be rubbish? I mean, it's ridiculously cheap. You know, I can see the appeal if you wanted to get mashed. Um, and for that price, it's quite heavily carbonated. Um, I mean, a lot of the Polish beers um, I've tried, most of the Polish beers I tried were around 6%. Um, and those that have gone up from that up to 9 I think, with the Kapachi, um, have been pretty good. You know, certainly drinkable. Let's give this one a go. Well, typical lager appearance. It was very fizzy to begin with. Head, which is now virtually gone. Okay. So, let's give this a sniff. Metallic, irony, coppery, that sort of, but definite metallic element to it. Not a lot else going on. What's the date on the bottom? Let's have a little of this. Okay, July of next year, so we're well in date. Sometimes with some beers that metallic will dissipate, but there's nothing else there at all. Okay, and look at that. Head all gone. completely gone now. Okay, let's give this a taste. Well, the last... 7.5 I tried was Tenant Super Lager. I know I think it used to be a 9, but now it's uh, the one I had was a 7.5, uh, and I'll put the link to that. And that tastes completely different. So, this is the maltiness that big multi hit of some of the Polish beers, but this is not. What's a bit... <laughs> well, I'm trying to be honest, not to be dr dramatic and not ham it up. So the maltiness is there, but the bit, it doesn't, uh, and there's no sort of bitterness. So this is just not a good beer. Mmm. That's why it's 189. Yeah, but I mean, the tenants, uh, you know, tenants super bad reputation, yeah. um, but I actually, that was not a bad beer. Um, this is just nasty. It's that metallic. It doesn't taste metallic, but it's on the nose. And, um, you know, half of what you uh, taste is, is, and smell, they're all interlinked. And I can't really get past that. The maltiness is there, but it, it doesn't... It's like someone... I've described a Polish beer down the telephone to a guy who's never brewed a beer and he's done his best. It's like the, the chemistry set of uh, lagers. It's no, it doesn't taste... Again, the maltiness is there, but it's not hanging around. And I can't tell you that it tastes bad. It doesn't, you know, it's, 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 and it's as flat as a pancake. I mean, there's a little bit of carbonation rising up there, but 
Is it red stripe all over again? A little bit of fizziness on it. No, red stripe was like drinking a cloud. I will put the link. <laughs> so, the mouthfeel is very thin. So it's got the maltiness, which I like. But the mouthfeel of this beer is awful. Like, which is really bizarre, because you think, well, you know. This is not pleasant. This could be the one where I say, I haven't had worse. And yes, this may it. well be the worst beer. I mean, this guy, if you're watching this now, you're probably saying, well, what do you expect, David? It's, you know, it's 189. You've bought it in a place. It's, it's, you know, this is just a nasty beer. And I think, you know, if you were buying it because it's a high strength lager, you're going to buy something better than this. It's exactly the same as Tenants. Yeah. And half the Polish lagers I've tried are, you know, they're heavy hitters uh, and they're all better than this. Uh. Mm. Not good. Okay. Um, if you've tried uh, Lynx, and I'm not talking about the deodorant, but I had to crack that chip. Uh, and if you've tried Lynx, um, tell me what you thought of it. Um, if you like it, please drop it in the comments. Tell me where I'm going wrong. Um, I am saying now, this is the second worst thing I've had on this channel. The first being a rose-flavoured milkshake, which, thankfully, this takes away the memory, but that's about it. I'm waffling now. Cheers.